Number 11. Okay, so number 11, it says, let f be a continuous function on the closed interval from 0 to 2. Uh, if f is greater than 2 but less than 4, then what's the greatest possible value of, the, of um, this integral? Um, now, here's the thing is we don't know what f is. f is representative of the y values, though. So how would this look if we drew a picture? Well, it says we go from 0 to 2. So the function f of x, we're looking at just the interval from 0 to 2. And this says that the lowest y value is 2, but the greatest y value is 4. So I want you guys to think about that for a second. What's the greatest that every one of these x's between 0 and 2 can be? Every one of those x's can be a 4. That would be the greatest that they can be. See, it says it can be equal to 4. So if that's the case, if let's say pretend they were all 4, what would the greatest area be? That's what this is, by the way. That is saying, what is the area under between the curve and the x-axis of f between 0 and 2? And so, using geometry, we go, um, this is 2, oops, this is 2, and this is 4. 2 times 4 is 8. That's your answer. That would be the greatest possible value. Now, I know this question doesn't ask. What if it said, what is the lowest? Now you know, right, that uh, the lowest that f can be is 2. And so you would have a different area that you would have to find. It would be um, 2 times 2, which would be 4. That would be the, the, the smallest value that this could equal. Isn't it all about reading calculus? See, when I talk through it and read it, it's kind of like, oh, that, that makes sense. I didn't think of this as y values. Um, I know, it's, it's weird. You get so good at reading algebra after this class.